Hello and welcome to Answers TV. My name is Jack and today I'm here joined again by... Andy. Yeah, Hello. my man. Part three. Part three. Oh, in the trilogy, it's not trilogy, we've got way more to come. <laughs> we've asked the question, what's an oscillator? We've also said, what's a filter? And now I'm going to say, what is an amp envelope? Yeah. So uh, so this is where things get uh, interesting. So if you watch the other videos, we started making some sounds, we filtered it. But now using the envelopes, we can sort of really sculpt it and make some interesting things. So uh, we've got our basic sound again, which is just a saw wave. And the filter's all the way open, so that's not doing anything at the moment. But yeah, if we look at our amp envelope, so we have four sliders on here. So we've got attack, decay, sustain, and release, uh, ADSR. And I position it on here, so we've got no attack, no decay, full sustain, and release. Brilliant. So the first one to talk about is sustain. And basically, uh, sustain is like the overall volume. So uh, if we have to sustain all the way up, that sound will just carry on forever as long as you're holding yeah. down the keys. Forever. But the one that works hand in hand with that is the decay. Uh, and the way to think about decay is think about uh, like an acoustic piano, because the acoustic piano has got no natural sustain. So when you play a note um, it, and you hold down the key, it, the string will run out of energy and eventually it'll just decay to nothing. So if we've got the uh, decay all the way up, if you play a note, fading away and it goes down to zero and if we have it at a shorter it fades away quite quickly but then we can use the sustain control with that so if I put the uh, sustain up a little bit so now what it'll do is it'll it'll decay down but then it'll reach like a lower level and it'll just stay there forever dig it stays at that other level forever. So that's quite cool. So you can use that for some sculpts and some sounds. We'll make an example in a minute. Uh, and then the other ones we've got are attack and release. So with attack, that's like how long it takes a sound for the fade, for fade in. So with no attack, you get instant. And then when we put it up a bit, fades in. Which is great. And you could have it all the way up and it would fade in over a long period of Let's time. Let's do it. but the sound's still dying away when you take your hands off the keys. Quite abrupt. So that's what the release control does. So let's pull down the attack and release it. So you can see on the little diagram, it says key off there. Uh, so that when you release the keys, that's how long the sound takes to die away. So if I put that up about halfway, kind of goes on. Nice. So what we can do now is let's combine uh, some of these controls and some of the other stuff we've done in the other videos and we'll make like a basic synth strings patch. Let's do it. Should we high five into it? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> cool. So uh, let's combine some of the stuff that we've learned so far and we're going to make like a little synth strings patch. Oh, so yeah. we've got a uh, saw wave to start with. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the key of Chris. D. Thank you, brother. But we're going to make it into a super saw, so I'm going to put that onto the saw wave. I'm going to spread out the colour of it. So that sounds quite cool, but it's still a bit bright to be strings, so we want to take some of that high end out of it, so we're going to use the, the cutoff control. Yeah. And now, uh, but again, we want it to kind of fade in like a sort of a string pad, so we need to add some attack in our envelope. Bit of release. Sound a bit clumsy. So it's really nice. It's nice and relaxing, that, isn't it? You know. So important. Exactly. Attack from a playing perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack and release as really often the first ones to go for mm. for me. Uh, anyway, I love it. It makes me sound a lot posher than I really That's am. That's all right. And uh, now we'll do another quick example. Um, uh, let's make like, I suppose you call it like a pluck sound. Ooh, like let's do it. 
Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll start with initial again. Yeah. And we'll go for, say, um, square waves. Yeah. And let's uh, bring this envelope down so we're going to have just a little bit of a, a uh, decay. And then a bit of release. Oh, very plucky. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's a couple of quick examples of like how you can use uh, an amp envelope, how to sculpt a sound and you know create a few different things. And just a, a, a little, again, great on the synth synthesizer, but often getting those that concept, the ADSR, ADSR, into your brain if you're mm. a beginner yeah, yeah. is really important because as we'll see, uh, you can use envelopes to control a lot more yeah, than yeah, the yeah. amplitude, the volume of how it comes in and out. And uh, often you'll see, maybe even Chris might zoom zoom in on this bit. You can see it's represented in this like, little yeah, graph. Yeah, yeah. It seems a bit ubiquitous. It's like no, no, no. Totally. That's uh, and it, it's a good to look at that, visualize it when you're using these, and see it as a, that's why sliders are good to learn on. I think. Yeah, totally. And you can, yeah, exactly. You can see on on there as you say. So you can see that's the attack is like how the the sound is rising, so it's fading in, and then the decay is beginning to die away. You sustain, it goes at yeah. a flat level, and then when you've got key off, so that's when you take your fingers off the key, then the release is how long it takes to... And it's uh, all and a fader. lot of places, and any of these controls can be substituted for a knob or a fader yeah, yeah, or yeah. a menu item. You know, some of the smaller digital synths, or if you've got an iPad synth or something like that, mm. uh, software synth, these things are there, and they might not look like this. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, again, visualising it helps. So we're going to go, where are we going to go next? So we're going to look at the uh, filter envelope next, which is a little bit more complicated. Okay, I'm going to play this out with a oh yeah, with a oh yeah. <laughs> 